Hi, I'm Sam and welcome to a very chilly Silverstone. And I'm here today to drive a Citroen C1 race car, the car I raced at Spa last year. We're gonna do a the 24 hour race at Silverstone, me and four other people. Some of the guys have done some radical stuff with and some of the guys have done some C1 racing with. Um, it's basically a chance for us to get used to the car, but today we've got some fast stuff on track. I mean, even just park next to us in the garage is a GT2 RS. You go out of the garage and there are two Ferrari Challenge cars and our car has like a solid 60 horsepower. So I think we're going to be overtaken quite a lot today. But it's a chance to get used to the car. Um, I might try and pull over Ollie, who is the team manager, and, and get him to talk a little bit about some of the prep because there's so much prep that goes into prepping a car for a 24 hour race or to do it properly. And I feel like our car is, I mean, I don't think you could prep a car better than, um, than they do with ours. So I'm gonna quickly change into my, uh, my race gear. Don't need to sing as a track day, but I'm in a race car and stuff like that. So I will put it on and then I will come back. <laughs> and just like that, I'm into my new gear. I changed my, oh, oh, see this is not my race suit, but it's on underneath. And those of you that watched on my racing content before, We'll notice that maybe I've changed. I had a black suit before. It was not a particularly good suit in terms of anything really. And I took myself down to stand 21 and I've got a um, one that's made to measure, but also it's made of some really funky materials. So for example, like here, this material, not that material, is super breathable. And it's got a bunch of panels that should help with heat because I was getting really hot, for example, in the C1, that sort of stuff. The radical is not a problem because you're out in the air. And then, like they haven't paid me or anything, I just paid for them. Um, but to get it custom fitted, it was like a hundred pounds extra, which I thought was pretty good. And then, because generally suit sizes seem to go, as you get bigger, they go wider and taller. And I'm not sure, but not, not super tall either. And, but I'm quite slim. So if I got a suit that fits me, it'd either be too short on the legs or too bulky. Anyway, this one fits perfectly. But as you behind me, you can see, We've got a couple of ridiculous cars. We've got a GT2 RS. We've got some challenge cars. Whole bunch of high performance stuff banging around and we're in a C1. So, should be some interesting track action later. just got out of the car from the, one of the first stints. We're having real problems with our dash cam. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Um, and so that's annoying because it means I haven't had any in-car. But I'm going to try and get some in-car for later. But I've had, I had some wicked fun. Like, there's a Mustang going around driving it. Like, uh, I don't know. The C1s are faster, so that's pretty embarrassing. Um, when you're getting held up through a corner by something with lots more power and grip. But really fun driving these cars. And because they're slow, you could think about everything, like the weight transfer. Like you have like eight seconds in a corner to think about how you're balancing the car. And it, it must be really good for the rest of your driving, driving something like this before getting back into something fast. Um, just spoke to someone who's in a challenge car. This is like first day driving the challenge car and he hasn't really driven much other stuff before. I'm like, wow, that's quite a step up in performance from doing like, don't know where the circuit goes to getting something that's super, super fast. Um, but. This is C1 going out now with Andy in it.
that's another stint out in the car. We're having so many problems with our lap timer that's meant to give you predicted uh, data. So you go around a corner and it then tells you whether you're up or down on your previous time and instead it's giving me nothing. So I've basically driven around until I feel like I'm going flat out. But I don't know how to push it further and try different stuff because I don't get the feedback. It's really annoying. Um, hopefully we'll get that sorted for the next time I'm out in the car. And there we have it, that is the end of the day. Um, the my lap timer has just not worked in my stint. It's worked in everyone before me, worked in everyone after me, but for some reason it hasn't worked in my stint. So uh, it's meant actually the last two stints out in the car. Yeah, I've got more use to the car, but I have no instant feedback on whether I'm going faster or not. So I'm, I'm pretty annoyed. <laughs> but other than that, I'm gonna look at some footage and try and work out a rough time, see how I'm doing and where, where there might be time on track. Oh well. Next step will be the 24 hour race here at Silverstone. <laughs>